Are you feeling stuck? Keep this in mind, it could change your daily life. When the illusion stops affecting you, you start making effects in this illusion. It sounds profound yet simple, right? What illusion, you ask? This is where we dive deep into a rabbit hole. Basically, the whole world is an illusion. If that sounds tantalizing to you, stay. If it sounds ridiculous, thanks for stopping by. Hello, I'm Dimitri, your guide on this mind-bending adventure on Law of Attraction Radio Network. Let's begin with quantum physics and reality. The branch of physics that studies the behavior of particles at the smallest scales has revealed aspects of reality that challenge our traditional understanding of a solid, objective world, showing us that these tiny parts can be in more than one place or state at the same time until someone looks at them. This is weird because it makes us wonder if things are really how they seem or if there's more to reality than we can see. This brings into question the nature of reality and existence independent of observation, resonating with the idea that the world as we perceive it might be different from its true nature. Observer effect. In quantum mechanics, the observer effect refers to changes that the act of observation makes on a phenomenon being observed. This idea in quantum physics says that just by looking at something, we can change it. It's kind of like the way our thoughts or beliefs can shape how we see the world around us. Non-duality, a concept in Eastern spiritual traditions, asserts that the subject, observer and object observed, are one and the same, an idea that is subtly mirrored in quantum entanglement, best known as everything is connected, no separation despite the appearance of separation. In quantum entanglement, particles become linked, and the state of one cannot be completely described without considering the other, no matter the distance between them. Simply put, like in quantum physics, there are particles that no matter how far apart, seem to be linked to each other. This challenges the idea that everything is separate and independent. Philosophical idealism. In Western philosophy, idealism is a doctrine that proposes that reality is mentally constructed or immaterial. Philosophers like George Berkeley have posited that objects only exist as perceptions in our minds. This idea aligns with the Eastern spiritual view that the material world is an illusion, Maya, and the true nature of reality is beyond physical manifestation. Simulation theory. In more contemporary thought, the simulation theory suggests that what we perceive as reality might actually be a simulated virtual construct. This concept, popularized in science fiction, echoes the ancient idea of Maya, where the world is not as it seems, and there might be different layers of reality. In other words, this modern theory suggests that our whole world might be like a big computer game, which is similar to the ancient idea of Maya. It means that what we think is real might actually be something different, like levels in a game. While these ideas from science and spirituality don't exactly prove each other, they do share some interesting similarities. They both encourage us to think differently about the world and what reality really is. Both spirituality and cutting-edge science invite us to question our assumptions about the world and consider more profound, less apparent truths about the nature of existence. Imagine navigating life without the innate ability to recognize even the most basic feelings such as hunger or thirst. This ability, often taken for granted, is a cornerstone of our survival. It's an unspoken dialogue between the body and the mind, guiding us towards essential actions like seeking food and water. This fundamental communication ensures our well-being and survival. But let's delve deeper into a world where this critical self-awareness is absent. Without this connection, life would not just be tougher, it would be perilous. The absence of this awareness would create a disconnect leaving us vulnerable to the harsh realities of neglect and deprivation. Expanding this thought further, consider the broader implications of such a disconnect. It's not just about physical needs. This concept extends to emotional and psychological realms as well. The failure to recognize and address these aspects of our being could lead to a life unfulfilled, marked by missed connections and opportunities. Our capacity to understand and respond to our needs is fundamental not only for physical survival, but also for emotional and mental well-being. Expanding this thought further, consider the broader implications of such a disconnect. It's not just about physical needs. This concept extends to emotional and psychological realms as well. The simple act of acknowledging our hunger and thirst thus becomes a metaphor for a much larger principle, the critical importance of self-awareness and the pursuit of fulfillment in all aspects of our existence. For example, if you're feeling sad or lacking something like money or love, it's easier to manifest what you want when you acknowledge that it's all an illusion you're attached to. 
Spiritual practices are about conditioning yourself to reach a level where you don't need to consciously remind yourself of this. So, when you're manifesting something today, remember it's your attachment to the illusion that makes it seem lacking. Acknowledge this, and you'll start creating effects in your illusion. This is the essence of spiritual practice, becoming aware that you're a soul experiencing an illusion which frees you from it. Remember, it's not about running away from your feelings, but acknowledging them as part of the illusion. So whenever you feel something, whether it's joy or sorrow, remind yourself, it's all an attachment to an illusion. This will help you detach from the illusion and gain you true freedom. Keep this in mind and you'll start seeing changes in your life. If you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you for watching.